All right, we're recording everywhere. Hey, everybody, welcome to episode 223 of Thinking Outside the Long Box. I'm Gabe. I'm Tim. I'm Juan. And today we are going to be talking about the abortion that is... Hey! 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 <laughs> I don't think you can use that language in 2020, bro. I can say abortion all I want. Smush motion. And if you can say the double flag is your heritage, I can say abortion. <laughs> It's somebody's heritage. <laughs> Bunch of fucking dead <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So watch out. There goes our Republican <laughs> audience. Yeah, we're keeping <laughs> long gone. Yeah. <laughs> they were never listening to three Mexicans and a white guy. That's true. Maybe uh, they thought you owned us. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they maybe They're like, Yeah, oppress those fucking Mexicans. Except all three of you are doing way better than I am <laughs> with life. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know that I'm doing better than you in life, man. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, Warrior Nun is an American fantasy drama web television series created by Simon Barry based on the comic book character Warrior Nun Ariola? Ar 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 Ariola? Ariola? Somebody in the back yeah, said Ariola. Somebody in the back so, said Ariola. By so Ben that's Dunn. What we're going with. <laughs> Originally developed as a feature film adaptation, the idea was reimagined as a television series for Netflix. It has a solid 74% critic and 74% audience score. That's weird. interesting. Exactly the same. That is that's, weird. That's really weird. That's really fucking weird. So it's awesome. about a lady who was dead. Correct. Then they put this fucking halo thing in her back. She mm -hmm. came back to life like Jesus. So it's a supernatural show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then she got superpowers. Right. But not, not anything else. That's all it's about. No, that's it. It's definitely not about her relationship with a dude. Well, and it's not then, really about a warrior nun. Because she doesn't also, really warrior nun until like the last fucking episode of the season. <laughs> so it's not about a warrior nun. And her it's about the life, like the life and styles of a warrior nun. Yeah, okay, okay. What's the first thing she does with her superpowers? gets real fucked up. Just, <laughs> just extra fucked up on drugs. I can appreciate that. Oh my gosh. This, okay. This Here fucking show is 100% all over the place. It's rated mature, so it's got gore, and it's got a little bit of sexiness in it, and it's got tons of swearing, okay? But it's also teen romance, so, and it's also some kind of weird, like, Catholic action show, and it's also like some kind of weird, like supernatural knockoff, and it's also based on a comic book that's not that great, and it's also like How thing on, on top of thing <laughs> on top of thing on top of thing. Like this show, it's fucking part like sci-fi show with potential time travel slash dimensional travel. Like this show is all over the fucking place and it has no idea what it wants to be and as a consequence it is stupid like it is so fucking dumb to watch like it is it has no idea what it is and it's super not entertaining because it just jumps from idea to idea to idea with like no cohesive anything so i i thought it was a teeny bopper constantine but it's got tons of swearing in it. Yeah, I mean, and it's rated teens mature. swear. Come on. I know on. that, but like, <laughs> they can't watch it. Most of those kids can't watch it Bullshit. at their parents' house. Or they're going to have to sneak it. It's going to take effort to watch it. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. It's awful. This show's <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> like, 74% <laughs> of people disagree I with you. I do not care. <laughs> like, this is one of the most... Poorly fucking written shows I think I've ever seen. The dialogue is crap. It There's is. like these fucking like 15 minute like segments of exposition. So like we literally just watched a movie that takes single shot exposition and makes it interesting. Okay, that's fucking impossible. It's just like a great script and great camera work. This does the same thing in the most like... Hey, by the way, he's a fallen angel. <laughs> like, it's the... That was pretty entertaining. It's the stupidest shit. Like, it is <laughs> just exposition on top of exposition with no direction whatsoever. So, I, I think this was Warrior Nun 
prequel series. That's what it felt like to me. Uh, that, like that's why I, I, that, it, that's why it felt like it was so slow to me. Like, cause it, it didn't it didn't get to Warrior Nun until the last episode. She that's when she kind of realizes what's going on, and you know she kind of fucking comes to with her powers and all that shit. There's so much romance and just backstory throughout all of the rest of the shit, though. I, I see why you hated it. I, I get that part. But it, it felt, to me, it felt like too much like a prequel than an actual series. It is the thing I hate about, like, prestige streaming television. What's that? It's the thing I, it's the thing I hate about prestige, like... Worldwide. What? What the prestige worldwide, bro? Oh, okay. come on! I, mean, I don't know what you're saying. I'm dead. Don't suppose. Black leather cards. Anyway, like that kind of like big, quote unquote binge worthy TV. So much of that is developed in such a way where somebody somewhere is gonna tell me, no man, you just have to get to episode nine for it to be good. I'm not fucking wasting nine <laughs> hours of my time on something that's not good. Like it's, dude. Fuck this trailer. <laughs> like the trailer for I didn't show, even watch the trailer, the trailer at all. The trailer for this show looked so cool and I was so <laughs> excited to watch it. And the show fucking sucks. Like I cannot stand it. Like I had to force myself to watch the last two episodes <laughs> and I <laughs> literally sit yeah. in my room watching TV all day while I put stuff on Etsy. Like there's no reason for me not to watch them. <laughs> it's that easy and I still was like, Ugh, I don't wanna watch these. <laughs> Oh, it was terrible. They were the two best episodes. They were the two best episodes. <laughs> like that I will admit. I, I'm telling you, had she come into even like Anything. a... Well, but I mean like not... Had she not <laughs> done this bullshit where she's like, I'm not coming back. Oh, maybe I'll come back. I'm not coming back. Like if by the third episode, she's like full, I'm learning how to be a warrior nun. I think you would have been more pleased because yep. there would have probably been a lot more action at that point. But there is, like, like there's a random boyfriend who fucking dies just so that we can be sad. Like, it, it's fucking lame. That part, like, it's very romantic sci-fi-y. I don't even know how to put it. You, you, I don't know, what did they call it here? A fantasy drama. That's what they listed it here. That's weird, because Gabe called it bad. <laughs> I was okay with it. I, what, what, I, I, I'm a fucking nerd. I, I I get I get hard by the weirdest fucking things. <laughs> Apparently, like, warrior I, 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 Well, she's sexy. Let's just get that out of the way. She looks. I think she looks cute. But <laughs> but I I really like the I really like the 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 religious themes. I I love things that have like a oh shit. There's something kind of weird going on with Catholicism or whatever it happens to be. I, took a I, too. I think that's the there there were enough small little things that kept me going through the whole thing that it just it, it, I, I'm not gonna say like I'm giving this two thumbs up. It's a no, nine I out of ten it. or anything. But I I thought it was okay. But I didn't again, think that's it was another awful. thread line of the intrigue of the Catholic Church and right. like the the ascent to the papacy where you're just like. Why? No one gives them fuck, like, <laughs> right? Like, it just, it goes so many directions at once, and it never becomes cohesive. Like, it never becomes a thing where you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And like, the thing with the time dimension thing, like, I don't... Th th didn't, I think it's going to send them to hell. It, it didn't pay off at all, though. At like, all. it didn't... There was no... There There wasn't a, like, oh, after credits, this fucking dude ended up with demons. Like, there was fucking nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, we're about to go in. End of season. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the next year of not knowing or giving a fuck. <laughs> I, and there are shows that do retarded level storylines well, like Riverdale or Sabrina. Like, those, right. those right. seasons are fucking like bag of cats insane all over the place. The show weeds, weeds is a well. weeds or yeah. like Breaking Bad are shows that have a million fucking things going on. Yeah, but the way you get to a million things. Oh, we'll talk isn't... about a show that has a million fucking things going yeah, on here that... soon. <laughs> and yet somehow manages to be so much more interesting. <laughs> like, like that's what I'm trying so, to get to. So, like, some things really do. So it right. we'll talk about this too during the during when we talk about Dark. Right. Like, 
the way you get to a million plot lines happening at once is you start with one fucking thing. And that's the basis for the show. And then you have to build and build and build and build. This one is, here's this thing, 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 here's this thing. That's episode half. Like, <laughs> and you're just like, she's already dead. That's a lot of people. Like, <laughs> she was already tortured. What the hell is this glowy thing in her back? Why is there some kind of... Why is the building she in being attacked? Can she trust these random teenagers she's living with? Yeah. <laughs> Who like, are criminals. Right. <laughs> breaking the houses <laughs> awkwardly. You're good. She almost spilled your tit. She almost spilled my tit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time boobs have been mentioned as a drink. Hey, babies drink from boobs. Nothing wrong with boobs. Are you out of here too, Smack? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hurry up! Bye, everybody. Sorry, I gotta say bye to my kids. I don't. Yeah, I no, I was saying bye. I know. I your know. children are as much a part of this show as oh, I know. I've else. ruined all of their minds with this fucking horseshit for six years. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Affection whore. <laughs> 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 love, love, and happiness and caring make me feel the same way. Fucking warrior nun makes me feel. Thumbs up, fuck down. <laughs> like seriously, this show gets a straight up thumbs down for me. I wow. really, really dislike this show. I don't think Outlander got this much scathing from you. Uh, I don't know. Least, I think we were talking. At least Outlander had titties in it. Like, <laughs> weren't there random titties in I in this was like episode? A titty in this. Surprisingly, <laughs> there was. Just, a... I broke the kid right now. <laughs> I, heard, I heard random titties. Yes. <laughs> like at least out, and you know what? I also didn't watch but like two episodes of Outlander because I was like, "Fuck this!" I, I think we I were pretty much way. done talking about Outlander at like the five or six minute mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the episode. It immediately changed. It. <laughs> it I, I mean, funny for me. seriously though, like going around the table, like this gets a fucking hard thumbs down. I think had it been very simple, because what 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 else could Warrior Nun be? I like mean, how I mean, complicated is the comic? I that I have no idea. Apparently, way too fucking complicated. <laughs> if this is what they came up with. Like, this show should be about a warrior nun. Right. It should come into its being like moment one. She is beating the shit out of something, and you find out that she came back from the dead. That she has a halo. Like each episode should have a little bit right. of backstory. Yeah. But each episode should have a fucking actual warrior nun in it. That's the name of the goddamn. Sh this show sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> at least, I, I, at Darn. least, <laughs> at least show some of those things that you. Should showed later in the series at the beginning like maybe the, don't like, maybe don't show the fucking or other warrior nun like dead already you know have show her fighting or show the flashback of how yeah, she, she got the halo she in her or even something get a moment to shine she and they make gets a nothing deal. and yeah. they make a big deal about her yeah yeah like there's there's so much that could have been done way better in this show that it just it's it's exactly what I said. It's an abortion. It fucking is dead <laughs> before it gets off the ground. Like, it's just such a clusterfuck in the first episode that you're like, that's what we're on for, I guess. Like, I did... A, fuck you trailer. Back I, up, I, I did like the, uh, uh, the explanation of why... We think the devils look the way that they look. Yes, I, I thought like that, that was really cool. I, I, it, no, for those there's... people watching or those people listening, there's a part in the in the episode where uh, what the fuck is the angel's name? Al Al something? What the fuck is his name? Uh, don't care. <laughs> Adriel, Adriel. So he's telling wow. there he. He's essentially stolen this halo that they're using as the uh, for the warrior nun. And they think that he gave it to them just willingly when that wasn't the case. And so he planted the seed for, I think, like, really, really early religion, almost. And this fucking being that he killed happened to have horns, which I think turns out to be 
from like heaven is kind of the way it kind of laid out. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they end up being like good guys, but it's cool that he kind of shaped the narrative that that was something that was evil. I, right. I, I really enjoyed that part. I thought that was cool. Look, don't Again, get me wrong. came in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. There's little tidbits in here that are pretty cool. Like, Shotgun Mary, fucking great character. Completely underutilizing the fact that she carries two shotguns with her absolutely everywhere. Yeah, I feel like she should she be shooting shot, something every episode. She shot those shotguns maybe twice. She what? she got them kicked out of her hands a lot, which yeah. I feel like if you're if you're, like if you're shotgun, shotgun Mary, specialist, you should probably know how to block that shit. You yeah. should you should maybe have some kind of like cool rosary tether, <laughs> you know? Like I'm just saying, like there's a lot of fucking simple solutions for this problem. Gabe's like this was so bad, like anything could have made it. Better. Literally, anything <laughs> could have made this show better. It's it, look, and it's not to disparage on like the people that made it, right? Like, they're working with what they've got. They're clearly working with a script that is not super well thought out from a comic book that I assume is, like, super convoluted because it's it's an indie comic. And as Tim can attest to, when you read an indie comic that doesn't have that, like, refined kind of, like, professional level of comic book writing, you tend to be over-explaining because you think your idea is so creative and new and different that people won't understand it. But that's just not true. We all live in world, this world of like pop culture tropes, and as a consequence, like the concept of a warrior nun isn't that hard to grasp because there's already those types of characters. Like right. think the brothers in Boondock Saints. They're like on a holy quest and they just whip ass in Jesus' name, ostensibly. Well, I, I think Con yeah. I think Constantine, Constantine is something that's in the realm of what Same this is. Thing. That's very like it's you know, like all right, he's some kind of fucking magician guy that can kill demons. All right, cool, cool. I'm in. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah. That's all. You that's need the, all the first need. thing you see when the movie starts yeah. is him fucking killing a demon. And that's how, and like I said, that's Such how this show should it go. It is a really oh, good movie. It should God. drop you into the world and explain the backstory throughout the episodes while you're watching her actually confront fucking anything. Right. Like, because what's the... You see a Tarasque kind of early in the season, like maybe episode four. I don't know. I think you... I th it's and like that's not really five. early, though. That's almost yeah. halfway through. And then you yeah. also see the next time you see demons is when they're in that little town. Yeah, like in the little little food shop thing yeah, where she, she stabs one. Fights yeah, yeah, anything. yeah. That, and that's why that's why I'm I felt like th this was more shaped like a prequel, and I feel like the actual if it gets there, the actual next season will be a lot more exciting. Whether the storyline okay, is good or not, I don't know. But I think there's going to be a lot more action in the next season if they get one. Like, I'm sure they will. Like so, it. It shot to number one on Netflix really fast. It stayed there for a few days. Typically, if something goes into that top ten and stays there for like the better part of a the week, they end up getting renewed. So that's what I've been noticing since they started releasing those top tens, which is actually kind of cool. Like, because you can see like what other people are watching. Right. And it kind of, I don't say it's it, cool because sometimes those things are like, what is that? Exactly. That's <laughs> kind of that's kind of what I think is cool about it. Enough people through word of mouth have started to spread something about something right. weird that hasn't come up. Marianne yet. is a yeah. good example Marianne of maybe. Really I don't know when they started that, but I think that I think it failed in that you, they ne they didn't put it out there enough, and so. Right. Yeah. We watched it and we were fucking blown away by how good it was, but it had already been canceled by that point. Right. Oops. Sorry. Um, so, so Tim, what did you think? I found the first episode entertaining. Like, it did hook me, just because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And then episode two comes around, nothing gets explained, she's just on, like, a drug bender, hanging out with these, like... Criminals. Criminal <laughs> children that, like, basically squat in millionaires' homes. Which, kind of a cool concept. That, that was neat. But, but I guess, again, one more fucking... Underutilized. <laughs> one more fucking thing that... I, I think it's completely... I almost think it's illogical. 
if you're a millionaire and you have zero fucking security in your house, like, you probably deserve somebody to be living in your fucking house when you're not there. Yeah, fuck for sure. <laughs> but, uh, and then, you know, two more episodes roll by and nothing's really getting interesting. It's just more... More? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I quit watching. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is dumb. <laughs> I was like, I found it pretty entertaining at first, and then, like, it's, it's like, if every single episode of Cowboy Bebop was something different and never hinted at a backstory for any of the characters. Like, you need something to glue them together, and not just new shit after new shit after new shit without, like, building anything. I don't know, I, I lost interest, like, almost immediately after the halfway mark. I was like, nothing's getting answered, nothing's happening. I'm giving it a solid five. I give it a solid one. <laughs> I'll give it a one for there are some kind of cool, like, moments. There's some cool concepts if there wasn't 15 of them. Exactly. Like, <laughs> there's, 15. There's, there's some really neat ideas in it that if it does get a second season, I'll probably at least watch the first episode to see where it goes, but if it continues to just be like a mush mouth fucking mess, I'm out. Like, mush mouth. I have never heard that before. Mush mouth. I'm gonna that's gonna be the next insult. Mush fucking mouth. mush mouth. Fucking mush mouth. <laughs> you got too many dicks up in there. Hey blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So uh do you want it to get a second season? I don't know, but I assume it will. Okay. Like <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm indifferent <laughs> to it getting a second season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I hope it gets a second season so people stay employed. Yeah, it makes you sense. You know, that's cool. I hope it gets a second now season. Now logical. <laughs> no, I hope it gets a second season in the... For somebody else to enjoy. In the hopes that, like, you know, it, it pulls its shit together and goes somewhere because it has a ton of potential. But if the second season does the same kind of, like, shotgun Mary blast at the wall... It's gonna feel like the shotgun got kicked out of my hand again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're in this episode. Right. Well, on that note, <laughs> be sure to check us out on the internet. You can find all of our social media. You're seeing us on YouTube, even. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, we're, okay. we're recording. It'll go on. Yeah, yeah, it'll be on YouTube later. Anyway, be sure to check us out, TOTLB.com. And of course, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash TOTLB, where Patreon supporters, I have, in fact, sent one eight videos. Yes, so, we're two down yeah, already. I got so, the third one going. I'm working on uh, commissions. I'm working on nice. uh, somebody who's doing... Once he says, like, yeah, I'm good, then I'll put up who nice. that is. And, then and then I'm working and on stuff. shirts and shit. Nice. Yep. So check that out, patreon.com slash TOTLB. We're finally kind of getting our shit together again. So uh, it's been a weird year, obviously. A very like, weird no, year. No conventions. Like, this is the height of our convention season. Here we are <laughs> sitting together in a room for the first time in, like, four months. <laughs> feels good. It feels good. It feels right. Uh, also, you can find us on YouTube. It's a lot. Tinyurl.com <laughs> slash TOTLBTube. And you can also call us, give us any of your opinions. Please blast me for my hatred of Warrior Nun. I would, I, I constantly crave negative attention. So, <laughs> blast so, them all over his face. Nine seven zero five seven three six one four eight. There is a man that loves midgets. He is dead. It's the Michael Kirk Memorial Hotline. Be sure to call us nine seven zero five seven three six one four eight. Please, I'm begging you, <laughs> Michael Kirk. He's dead. Like just do. Michael Kirk Memorial Hotline, and then have our number. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he gets a free shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put Michael Kirk Do you Memorial get, Hotline. You get, like, random people just calling it while you're walking around <laughs> in public. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guy? Guy? This is crazy. What is the number? Our, why do they want our opinions, though? That's weird. I've never actually called the line. What is the voicemail? Like, what it's do you like, hear? It's the you same call? thing. It's, it's like, the same we're thing. We're calling the Michael Kirk Yeah, yeah. Memorial it's the same shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it definitely confuses and people. Eric was. I told Eric to call it because he was he was giving us some shit about something. I can't remember what it was, and he's like, "I don't know who this fucking Michael Kirk is." And then he ranted into whatever we were talking about. <laughs> it was funny. Oh man. Well, with that said, I've been Gabe. I'm Tim. Um, Juan. Have a good time uh, not watching Warrior Nun. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow. Where's Doyle?